Here with Cross Country Coach Ward Barrett. Coach, it's been a while since we've talked on camera. First off, congratulations. You're a, you're a new father, uh, obviously taking up some of your sleep time, but, but again, congratulations on the new baby. Is it uh, a big adjustment in terms of uh, trying to be able to still coach? Because you're, you're juggling a lot of hats now. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bit of adjustment now. It's just kind of changing your routines up a little bit and figuring out how to, how to make your routines work with, within the family and within the, within the cross-country season now, too. So. Well, let's talk a little bit about the season. Uh, the last time you guys competed uh, back in, in late September was the SMU No Limit Invitational. I'm sure you have that one etched in your mind because it was a great performance, both on the guys and the women's side. Guys finished first and the women finished third. Uh, talk first on the guys' side. One, two, three individual finish and, and really an outstanding performance top to bottom on the guy's side. Well, I think the biggest thing for me on the guy's side was the surprise of Aaron Haley. He led it from the start to the finish and we talked about him running a little bit more up front and being a little bit more confident doing it. When you'd run a race, an 8k race front in the front the entire time, that, that speaks to his confidence ability and growing a little bit too. The other two guys, they tried catching him. They were letting him have it easy and he was able to hold him off and they all got good performances out of it. So. You know, it's really nice to see because we've talked a lot about Peter Borash and, and Jake Traxler, and they've really been, you know, between the three of them, they've been battling for that top spot. And this week it was Aaron. The week before it was Peter. So you're getting you're getting that three. Those mm -hmm. three are really kind of bunched together at the, at the top for you. Yeah, and it's good to see that they're competitive with each other, but they're also supportive of each other too. Like they know each other's tendencies on there. So if somebody's a little bit weaker, they'll try and bring them along in that part of the race. But they know at the end of the day, whoever runs the fastest is just going to help the team the most. And it's not – a bad competitive with them. It's a really good competition within them. And on the women's side, Katie Stoltz led the way for the for the women, finishing second just by hundredths of a second. She ran yeah. a great race as well. Yeah, Katie's really been figuring out how to take control, and she needs to take control. And she showed it in that race too. She felt the race kind of move a little bit, and she knew she had to take take the lead. And unfortunately, she got nipped at the end, but she did what she needed to do, and she did do it. And it was really refreshing to see her be that that confident in her racing. You've, uh, you've, you've strategically planned your schedule this year in that you have that week off between, me, uh, between meets. Now this weekend you head to West Salem for the Jim Drews, Tori Neubauer Invitational. Everybody's going to be rested. Hopefully everybody's healthy. But talk a little bit about this weekend. Huge fields on both sides, so it's going to be a, a, a big race for both teams. And we can see a lot of conference schools too, which is going to be good for us because we haven't seen a lot of that yet. So we're, we kind of know people are going to do it, but we're not quite sure yet. So it'll be good to see the conference. Unfortunately, the cold, colds have hit us a few people on the team, so we're, we'll be a little bit banged up going into it, but we'll get a chance to really kind of feel it out and really run with some big dogs and just know what it's like to run in heavy competition again. You'll, you'll have two weeks then, a week off, and then the conference championship comes up uh, in early October or late October, but talk a little bit about your how you will gauge this race. Like you said, you get to see a lot of the conference schools. What will you take from that, and how will you then prepare for the MIC? I think, first of all, even before we – gauge against conference schools. What we like to do is see if our kind of rest, rest rhythm recovery cycle works coming into those meets. So we'll try something this week too, and if that seems like it works out pretty well, that's something we can take in, take in the next part of it. The other thing that makes it a little bit nice with this big field is sometimes you can do stuff with teams that they don't know because there's so many other people around you that at the end of the day you can kind of pull the results out and say, okay, well we know this might, be, this might happen if this happens, this might happen if this happens. When we remove all those people, we get a much clearer picture of what, what could happen. So. Saturday morning, 10.30 with the guys and 11.30 with the women in West Salem, Wisconsin, the Jim Drews Tory Newbauer Invitational. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.